to my channel. So to all my new subbies, thanks for subscribing to my channel and all my old subscribers, thanks again for sticking with me and still supporting me. I really appreciate it and I love you guys. So from the title, you guys already know that today I'm going to be doing my September favorites. It's going to be my first one I ever done um, because... I've never got around to doing one so I just decided to do one because I did a look and I cannot seem to get it on my editing software so I can edit it so I have to recreate the look and I really don't want to but I'm going to just because I love y'all I'm gonna do it but as you guys can see today I'm not wearing any makeup eyebrows are not done so I'm bare faced today but it's fine I feel comfortable enough to do this video without it so I have a lot of random things nothing specific I don't know if I'm gonna be going in order I'm gonna try to go in order but it's just random things it's not just um it's not just makeup it's also hair stuff and um perfumes yeah that so without further ado let's get into it so the first thing you know I'm gonna I'm gonna do the perfumes first my first one is gonna be um this is my Nicki Minaj pink Friday I think it's the name yeah pink Friday guys you see this bottle this bottle is empty and I brought this small one because it was in a box and I wasn't able to open it to smell it so I brought the small one just in case I didn't like it I didn't feel like I wasted my money but y'all this stuff is bomb if y'all have never tried this y'all should go get a bottle i got this from um burlington co factory and i think i paid probably about 12.99 for this little bottle but guys i kept it because i love the bottle like i love the bottle but yeah this is one and the next um body spray body spray perfume whatever you want to call it um is jessica is it jessica yeah jessica simpson fancy girl <laughs> yeah and this i also got from burlington also and this is how much i paid for it 6.99 and i'm almost out so i need to go get some more but this also smells good and it lasts all day anytime i wear it it lasts all day and people's always asking me what i'm wearing but yeah Fancy Girl by Jessica Simpson. The next one is um, Justin Bieber's Girlfriend. I had another bottle, but I finished it, so I grabbed me another one. So this one also smells really good. This is what it looks like. Um, I paid $6.99 for it also from Burlington. And it smells good. It's not, I don't know. I don't know how to explain the smell, but it smells good. You guys should try that all right the next thing is um, I'm gonna do hair products so I know you guys seen in my other video um, I had used this like when I washed my when I washed my my wig this stuff guys it smells I keep saying it smells right because everything I buy it has to smell good and this is the Garnier fruity sleek and shine intensely smooth leave-in conditioner cream I like to use this even on my natural hair because it just makes it so soft and smooth so I like to use this because my my natural hair it's really curly and it gets tangled a lot but when I put this in here yeah I could just go like this to my curls and I won't get any tangles but this guys is good and I think I paid $3.99 from Walmart yeah Walmart also i keep telling y'all about this this is the Shea moisture professional um precious oil complex it's for vibrant color conditioner this stuff is really good and i like the way it leaves my hair filling it's also cruelty free and this one i picked up from ross for 5.99 i did a haul on this and I use this to wash my natural hair and also I use it to watch my wash my wig but this stuff is really good this is one of my favorites um, the next thing also 
is my Herbal Essence 2-in-1 Hello Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner. I love this stuff. I paid $3 for it from um, Big Lots. And for this big bottle, for three dollars i seen this in walmart for six dollars and i paid three for it that's a good buy and it smells good and it's i like the way it feels in my hair so yeah the next thing is um this sample i got this sample from um the beauty supply store it's a botanical edge tamer all day hold gel coconut and Argan oils for a long lasting no flake hold. Yeah, I got this and I I had probably about three packets and I said I wanted to see how it works on my edges because my hair gets so curly from other edge controllers that I've used. There's only one other edge controller that I use that really works for my edges, but everything else my edges just curl right up. But this right here is a um, UB Natural Edge Tamer All Day Hold Gel. Like I said before, um, this is really good. Curly, no matter what hair you have, this sucker right here will lay your edges down and keep it down all day, like really all day. So I'm going to go pick this up. I just had the samples because I wanted to see how it works, but I'll be going to the supply store to get this. Next one, the next edge controller that works for me, guys. Oh, it was worth my money, okay? Was this Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste. Y'all, that's makeup. Y'all, this stuff right here, I tell you, this stuff right here, it, look, it's empty. You see that? I done scraped it because this stuff is so good. When I tell you I used to put my hair in ponytails using this, and when I say it holds my ponytail, it holds it. This stuff is, oh, smells so good. I just love the texture of it. It's really thick. It reminds me of jam, but it's way better. It really holds my hair. Jam usually just makes my hair curl up, so... I don't even bother wasting it, wasting my money. I brought this from a beauty supply store when I was in New York visiting my family and I paid $8.99 for it. If you can still see it, can you see it? Mm, probably can't, but yeah, $8.99. Usually it's in Target and it's probably around like 12 or so, don't quote me. But that stuff is good. Um, the next thing I like to use on my, like when I have weaves and stuff, and also my natural hair is this Argan um, Argan Oil of Morocco. This stuff, y'all, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know about this. It's lightweight. It's not like um, Oil Sheen. Oil Sheen is very heavy on like when you have weaves, wigs. It's good to use like a little bit of this because it's so lightweight and it doesn't weigh your hair down. This is good. I paid, I think, five for it. I'm not sure but I brought this from Walmart for five dollars yeah this is some good stuff this is really good stuff so that's another thing and there has been so many people talking about this gel and I'm pretty sure everybody knows about it and I was kind of late getting up on it but it's the eco style gel professional styling gel with olive oil in it for all it's for all hair types moisturizes hair and scalp tames frizz no flakes no tacks anti itch uv protection this stuff is good now it says i'm not gonna lie i love it but it says no flakes um it do get flaky probably like after a couple of weeks of using it you'll see flakes or whatever like putting on my edges and stuff or if you were in a ponytail and you just keep doing your ponytail over and over keep gelling it you'll start seeing little flakes I'm not gonna say it's major flakes but little flakes the only gel I ever really use is the black gel and I think I have a bottle of it it's in my cabinet I forgot to pull that out but that's also one of my favorites but this eco style gel is really good it really holds my edges that I can say but yeah guys this stuff is really good it's really good I love it 
and I recommend you get it it's very inexpensive it's very cheap so yeah I recommend that to someone to buy now the next thing is y'all if y'all still taking off y'all makeup with makeup wipes y'all missing out this honey this Albuline is, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, sorry, but Albuline, um, it's a moisturizing cleanser for younger looking skin, dermatologists recommended. The makeup comes off, the moisture stays in. This, excuse my language, but this shit right here, honey. <laughs> when I used to use makeup wipes, I used to just burn my face, but when I use this and like a baby wipe to just wipe, I put this all over my face, <laughs> as y'all can see, I mean, y'all can't even see inside, but I've been using the hell out of this. This stuff, I put it all over my face. I be looking crazy as hell. Then I just grab me like two baby wipes and just clean my face off with it. And when I tell y'all all the makeup be gone, all the makeup be gone. You hear me? All of it. So, this right here, I think I paid like $8.99 from Walmart. I can't really remember all these prices. Because I buy too much shit. But I think it's around $8.99. I'm not sure. But this stuff is good to remove your makeup. It really moisturizes your face. But me, after using this, I always wash my face after. And then use my moisturizer for my face. Now, the next thing is um, this Benzac. The Benzac Acne Solution. I had did a, um, a video on this. And I said I was going to do a review on it. But y'all, it don't work. It don't work. The only thing this shit work for is your makeup. This right here will wash the hell out of your makeup. I'm going to tell you that now. I'll use this to remove my makeup and it'll take it all off. But I always want to wash my face after. So then I go in and I wash my face with the Benzac. And this works pretty good. Even without, without this, this washes the makeup off also and leaves your skin feeling smooth. But it dries your face after so you still want to moisturize. So these two go hand in hand. Or you could use this by itself. You could use this by itself. Your choice. But... I use it as a combination, honey. Now, the next thing I have um, is my moisturizer I use for my face. Is this Nivea cream. I got this from Dollar Tree. I have two more of them. And I said I was going to pick up the bigger jar. So, I'm going to do that. This stuff, guys, as you can see, you see that? I use it all. But this stuff, guys, it's it's just uh it's a subtle smell like the smell is very light and it really moisturized my face i love it i really love it i tried another nivea cream but i didn't like it it was like too like watery this is really thick so it works for me even though i have oily skin yeah i love it i love that nivea cream and that was a dollar from dollar tree i remember that price <laughs> now makeup stuff that i have is this L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi um, foundation, um, you guys see me use this a lot in my tutorials. It's because this stuff is bomb. I had it in my makeup collection for probably like a month and a half. And I never really, I touched it once, maybe twice. But guys, this is, this is really good. This is really good. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I think I seen it in Walmart for probably about $12.99. But this stuff is really good. Um, I have oily skin. It works for me. I don't get oily after using it, even though it doesn't say if it's for oily skin or dry skin. Maybe it's a combination. I don't know, but this right here, it's really good. And my color is in cool. And I had that for a while and I love it the next foundation I have is of course <laughs> my Maybelline fit me and I'm in 338 spicy brown yeah mine's is a matte and poreless like I said I have oily skin very oily so I get I like to use a lot of matte products so this was $5.99 from Walmart and I love this stuff so the fit me it's a must-have in my makeup the next thing I tried was this wet n wild photo focus um setting spray right here I had did a, I had did a um I had did a haul on this and y'all it's empty 
the shit is empty because it works good. I love the way it works and it was it's cheap. I think I paid probably like $4.99, five, I'm not sure. It was a while when I brought it back, but it's pretty good and I would recommend it. It's inexpensive if you don't want to pay that 20 something dollars for this Mac Fix Plus, but Max Fix Plus is also good, but this is good if you don't want to spend all the money on just a, a satin spray. My next favorite is my um my MAC um lipstick. It's Velvet Teddy. This is the color. It's like a um it's a pretty pink nude. Yeah, I love the way MAC lipstick smells. Smell like candy. I've been wanting to eat these lipsticks. But yeah, this I purchased this um a couple months ago, but I'm not sure if they still have it, but this is um a matte. I, lo I love matte lipsticks, even though I have some satin max. But yeah, this is Velvet Teddy. I love this. This is one of my favorites. And also, I have this. I just picked this up, but yeah, I love it. I picked it up last month, but I still love it. Um, this is in re it's a retro matte liquid lip color. High drama is the name. Um, by Mac also this is what the applicator looks like and y'all this is a perfect color for fall and I don't know it smells ugh, it smells so good yeah so these two are my two favorite lippies right now and I love them and I would recommend them to anybody and the next thing I have is this clean color Framus brow tinted brow mascara yeah. I had picked this up from um, Miss A the store and I've been using it ever since I use it and I just brush in my brows like brush them brush them brush them and it basically color them and I just go over with some concealer and just clean them up but it's very quick for me it's quick when I'm rushing out the house and I don't have time to draw them on and shade them in I just grab this right here and I just run them right through my brows boom 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 and get that concealer honey and clean it up and I'll be ready to go so that's a good buy for a dollar also my Maybelline is it the Maybelline fit me yes the Maybelline fit me um concealer I had picked this up yeah, like in um, last month I picked this up. I paid four dollars for it because I found it on sale and um, I was in my grocery store and they have like a, a makeup section and I found it and they had a lot of stuff on sale. I don't know what color. Oh, mine's is in Cafe. This right here. I love my LA Pro Girl concealer. Nothing. I have not got a concealer yet that beats my LA Pro Girl concealer, but. I like I like this I love this no I love my LA Pro Girl and I like this so I just like the the applicator on this one and um, coverage it's 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 good coverage that's why it's in my September favorites but I love this guys it's it's really good it's good and that one was four dollars the next thing I have is um this NYC liquid eyeliner in black extreme black for um usually when i do like my wing it's really hard for me but when i got this baby it's been so much easier for me guys this is so cheap this is two dollars and fifty cents i think it was i got it from big lots if y'all having issues with trying to do y'all wing, go ahead and pick up one of these. Let me show y'all what it look like. See? It's the NYC eyeliner. And it's really good for people that's really trying to learn how to do a wing. Because I'm not good with wings. But this right here helps me out a lot. Even though the applicator is kind of tricky, you just really have to have a steady hand to, to use this. See that? Okay, yeah, but for 250 you can't beat it and it really works good Waterproof, uh, I don't think this is waterproof. Um, it didn't really say But it's still a good buy 
Um, the next thing I have is the NYC um, Lengthening Mascara Sky Rise Mascara. This is this is um so good. I'm not gonna lie, this is so good. I love that um the the applicator of it. Like it's so much smaller than most of my other ones. Well, not my L'Oreal Telescopic because that one is really small but this is the closest I'm gonna get to it with that size um, brush but this is good I paid I'll say probably a dollar fifty or two dollars for this from Big Lots Big Lots be having some good things you just have to catch them catch them when the shipment comes in because they usually have like they usually have like Maybelline they have NYC they have Elf they have like they have different different ones like you just have to catch them but this I paid a dollar fifty or two dollars for it and I loved it I still love it I love using it and yeah I would recommend it but that's all I have for you guys today thanks for watching and if you guys have any tips on any other makeup or eyeliner or mascara leave them in the section below what you guys like and i'll try them out for myself to see how they work or if i have them i'll let you know that i have it already but yeah any video ideas or any challenges you guys would love to see me do just leave them in the comment section below and i will gladly do them and i want to thank you guys again for tuning in and watching my video thanks for subscribing thanks for stay for staying subscribed to my channel thanks for watching my videos and i happy for all the good comments that you guys leave and I always try to respond to your comments if I don't I'll either thumbs it up or something but I really appreciate you guys and I'll be doing a giveaway soon so look out for that and I will see you guys on my next video so stay blessed and I'll see you guys again bye bye